Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and happy holidays to everybody, however you choose to celebrate that. A few weeks ago, I proposed the question of whether Thorin would be a free-to-play character to unlock. I laid out my plan to get the goblins up to five stars so that I could unlock him before the end of the event. And after a lot of grinding, I have gotten all five goblins up to five stars. So we are going to attempt to unlock Thorin. I'm just giving you guys a quick snapshot of where the goblins are at. So you kind of know what gear I've put on them, what abilities they're up to. They're all currently at level 45. I am trying to do this putting the minimum amount into the goblins so that I can save all of those resources to actually work on Thorin once I've unlocked him. I may need those resources to build the goblins a little bit stronger, we'll just have to wait and see. Now we are going to jump straight into battle number 5, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the other battles leading up to this one. My strategy is to try and take out Philly as quick as I can so he can't heal the team, but he is a little bit tougher than I thought he would be and I don't think that the ability levels that I've got these guys on or gear level 5 is going to be enough to really take him out quickly. I know that if you do put plenty of work into the abilities of the goblins, they can really pack a punch. So if they were stronger, it might be a pretty decent strategy. But I think trying to take out Killy first might be better. I think he is a little bit easier to take down. I don't think it's really going to matter who you target first, unless you've actually maxed out the goblins. Philly is always going to get that heal off before you take any of the other dwarves down. The main thing that you do want to avoid is having marked put on the great goblin. If they take him out before you've taken down any of the other dwarves, then you're probably going to lose. It's better to restart and try again. Losing Grimper already is probably not ideal either. You really need that solid defender, especially at the start, because if they are going to put Marked on anyone, you really want them to put it on Grimper. But the problem is you're really going to need to have him strong enough to be able to take those hits. I have almost taken down Philly here, but as you can see, the Great Goblin isn't doing so great, and there he goes. Once he goes down, there's not really a lot of defense left. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because by the power of editing, I can tell you after about 10 to 15 attempts, I really wasn't getting anywhere. So it's back to the drawing board. I'm going to put a little bit more into the goblins because I haven't come this far grinding the goblins out only to fail actually trying to unlock Thorin. So I went through and I've upgraded a few of the abilities up to level 4, mainly the ones that do a lot more damage. I also went through and put all of them up to gear 6 with the exception of Chef Kraska because I just ran out of gear to do that. And I also was able to bump Golbers up to level 50 as well. Hopefully that's going to be enough. So let's get back into the battle and we're going to see if we've done enough to get Thorin unlocked here, completely free to play. Now the way that I was able to get these goblins ground out is because I haven't been spending any of my crystal rewards for a few months. Basically since Elodin came out, I haven't spent any money just continuously saving those crystals so that way I would be ready for the next legendary that came out just in case I did need to upgrade a marquee character or something like that. In this case, I was able to do a lot more refreshes and thankfully they did put Great Goblin on the calendar. So that way I was able to use a few more crystals for those extra refreshes and get Orphers and Chef done in time. But I have put way more resources into these guys than what I intended. I've basically got nothing left to be able to do any upgrades on Thorin. However, if I can unlock him, that's a few months ahead of everybody else, even though he's only at 5 stars. So I should get plenty of use out of him. Now with these upgrades that I've made to the goblins, it does look like I am going to get rid of Killy pretty quickly there. Now we're on to Philly. We'll take out their ability to heal. 
Then I will go for Biffa and leave Thorin until last. Now they do have Marked on the Great Goblin, but my goal from here, if I can take down Philly while the Great Goblin is still alive, the goblins that remain should be good enough to outmatch the two remaining dwarves. But one extra little tip that I can give you guys, the goblins as you see them right now went from being completely unusable in the raid last week to posting nearly 400k in chapter 1 this week. So in a way I am actually pretty happy that the game forced me to start working on the goblins because they are a very good raid team and I'm really happy to keep working on these guys getting them all up to seven stars maybe not grinding out the great goblin with crystals hopefully they do put him in one of the stores so we can farm him better the dwarves will be a long-term project especially with Bilbo and Bomba not being farmable for a few months I will be doing all the groundwork on them, doing their gear and abilities. I'll just have to farm the shards a little bit later for those guys. But hopefully they will be a little bit viable at the lower stars. So once I do get them up and running, probably early in the new year, I'll try and bring you guys a little bit of an update so that we can see if they are effective in the arena at all, and even somewhere in the raid, even at those lower stars. But I am well in control of this match now. I'm sure these goblins will be able to get the job done on Thorin here. That is another legendary unlocked. And I just want to shout out to all of you guys that have supported me throughout the year. It really does mean a lot to me because this is only a small channel. Hopefully we can all grow a lot bigger next year. Truly your support does mean the world to me. If you do want to support the channel, a super thanks would be very much appreciated. Other than that guys, like and sub, you know the deal. We've got plenty more Heroes of Middle Earth coming your way in the new year. Don't miss out and we'll catch you in the next one.